No. <laughs> It's very easy, you know, you just have to keep the distance with the striker. I knew it. You know, if he's stronger than you, you just don't go on duels, you just wait for the help. I can play this position, you know, I will, I will score every every game, hat-trick. You just keep the ball, you know. It's a, it's a proper number 10, you know, you don't attack and you don't defend, you know. Josko Vardial and Danny Olmo played together at Zagreb and at Leipzig. And we've got a little questionnaire so that we can get to know each other and find out a little bit more. Question number one, I'll come to you, Josko, first. What is the best thing about Danny as a friend? The best thing as a Danny as a friend is that he's uh... <laughs> the hardest question. The first one, eh? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a hard the one. hardest question. The first one. No, it's not a hard question. The best thing about Danny as a friend is uh, is that he's uh, he's honest. Uh, he's trying to be honest and uh, trying to help uh, all the time on the pitch and off the pitch as well. And Danny, what about you? What's the best thing about Josko as a friend? He's really humble, you know, that uh, everything went a little bit so fast for him, but he never changed, you know, and even now he made the big step to, to Manchester and he's the same, the same guy, good guy, you know, and he just have to, to keep going like this and he knows this. Very, very humble. All right, the next question, I'm going to come to you, Danny, first. What do you miss about Josko? A lot of things. Chai lattes, of course. I have nobody to go with. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, only the, the the daily routines, you know, here we had uh, a daily routine together in the club. We were going breakfast after the training, you know, so on. And now, yeah, of course, it's kind of hard at the beginning, but this football, you know, sometimes you move, sometimes you stay, but you just have to deal with it. And the same for you, Josko? Yeah, I mean, I could pick a lot of things about Danny, but uh, the only one is uh, his broken jokes. Every day. Uh, I, I don't know what he means. Uh, yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, <laughs> it's funny and uh, he's trying to share uh, some some new jokes with us, but uh, something sometimes it's just not. It's not just funny, you know. But there, there are no jokes. I'm talking serious every time. No, you know, you know what I'm talking I'm about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you had to, um, if you had to describe Danny in three words, what would the three words be? First of all, uh, great friend. These are two words. Yeah, come on. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> amazing player, funny guy. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, yeah, so amazing player, great friend, and a funny, funny guy. guy. <laughs> Daddy, if you had to describe Yotsko in three words. Uh, it's tough, then. Eh? No, I will say... Um, a uh, warrior, happy, and machine. Machine. I have to say machine, of course. <laughs> they they use the the word there in machine. Right? Machine. Warrior, machine. machine. Nice. Well, listen. This is a this is a this is an interesting question now for both of you, right? Danny, if you were a centre back, or if Josko played in your position, who would do the better job? <laughs> Josko, uh, what do you think? <laughs> yeah, I know my, my, my opinion about it. I can, be, I can be a good libero, I think. The only thing is the strikers and midfielders, they think that uh, the, 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 easiest, the easiest position is, uh, is a defender. It's, it's center back, yeah, I know. Uh, I see, say. It's not. <laughs> so, Daddy, do you think you could play center back, right? Of course, it's very easy, you know, you just have to keep the distance with the striker. I do. You know, if he's stronger than you, you just don't go on duels, you just wait for the help, you know? That's it, no problem. Look how upset you know how, how, You know how much time we spend about talking exactly about this? <laughs> it's true, we had this conversation already. Okay, I'm gonna say, of course, uh, yeah, I can play, I can, I can play this position. You know, I will, I will score every every game, hat trick, uh, at least two assists as well. And uh, yeah, you just keep the ball, you know, a little bit easy, easy position, you know, and that's all. Like you just turn, you just turn when you're alone, when you have pressure, then you play. You know, you can do whatever you want. It's a, it's a proper number ten, you know. You don't attack and you don't defend, you know. You just need the armband around your. And <laughs> and so, Danny, would you keep a clean yeah. sheet as centre back? Hundred percent. With your hundred percent. 
<laughs> right, what is, um, Yosko, do you have a favourite Spanish dish? Spanish food? What did you say? A Spanish dish. <laughs> no. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Tapas. <laughs> I like tapas a lot. <laughs> uh, it looks it looks like I never gave him something from Spain to try. Spanish Actually, you didn't. What did I give you last time? You don't remember? Jamón, bruda. Ah, true, true. Is that your favorite Spanish dish? I, this is the only one I tried. I mean, the only. Tapas, right? Tapas, tapas as well. <laughs> and fruta, fruta, fruta. <laughs> Daddy, what about a Croatian dish? Did Josko ever bring you any Croatian food? <laughs> No, in Croatia, like the nyanjetina, I would say. Nyanjetina, yeah. What's that? It's a lamb. Oh, yeah, lamb. Yeah, yeah. Croatian lamb. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll try yeah. some Croatian and Spanish food soon. Yeah. You guys played 51 games together for Leipzig, for Zagreb. What is the moment that you cherish the most? So, Danny, I'll come to you first. Probably, I remember his first game for Dinamo. And he scored against. It was in the debut that you scored, Josko, yeah? Against Inter Zaprisic? It was, it was, yeah. It was, you see, I remember good. And then it was a really funny moment, you know, after, like, good because he came to the game, he scored, uh, we won 1 0, and then he go back home with the tramway, you know? So this is what. Yeah. Train over, this is was this was really really a big thing there in in Zagreb back then in Croatia, you know. That's what I'm saying. He's humble, you know. Yeah, yeah, very humble. So yeah. you just got this. He scored your first goal in your first game, yeah. and I got the tram home. Yeah, because I didn't have uh, driving lessons. So you didn't get a taxi. Of course, he he was 15 years. 15, yeah. <laughs> no. no, 17. You 17. Were 17, you know? 17. 17, right? Yeah, 17. Why yeah, but I... he look he looked the same. He, look, he looked the same like you, but with no bird. <laughs> <laughs> what about what about Danny? Have you got any special moment playing with Danny for for Danny? Anything? What a player he is! The special moment I remember, uh, we had a training session outside in uh, in Dinamo Zagreb, and uh, yeah, the manager just said like make a circle and come closer, everyone. Uh, we got a, a a news from Spain and uh, it was the first time that he got called up for a uh, national team. Yeah. That was a nice moment, right? Yeah. yeah. Daddy, it's been great chatting to you. And uh, Josko, as always, it's always a pleasure, so thank you. Yeah. Perfect, guys. Big pleasure for me. See you soon. Amigo, tschüss. Bis bald. Tschüssi.